M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Yesu FTM300D. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one on the FTM300 here, using the HRI200 box. I'm just going to show you how it all connects, and then uh, it's working great. We're using uh, the FTM300 becomes a donor radio. There's the 300 there. And when it's all up and running, you'll be chatting on your handheld. The HRI200 does all the work. You can still hit the X button, and then you, that allows you to then change rooms using the actual, this the donor the, this is the donor radio, the actual walkie-talkie, let's call it. Let's show you the system. This is what the system looks like. And, uh, you know, lots and lots of settings here. You can actually put it into dual mode by go transceiver. You can actually have two radios, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to show you the basics. So it's all up and running. I'll show you where to register. Just register here at YSX. They send you an email, you get a room and a node number. Now, of course, you don't have to use the HRI 200 box, but what it does do is give you an analog room. Sorry, it gives you a room, a digital or analog room, and it allows easy analog connection. And I'll just show you that. So the cable coming from the wires X box is going into my laptop. You need to sort of run any drivers you need for the USB. That's what the... So if you look at the back of the FTM 300, You've got a, basically a 10 pin cable going in here. This cable comes with the kit and at the other end of it goes to, let's move this, the back of the HRI 200 box, which is there. So enter radio number one and you've got the USB which goes to the laptop. So that's nice and easy. Then you just hold down the two orange buttons here, hold them down, turn on the radio, and you'll put, it'll put you into HRI 200 mode once you've been detected by the software. So you've got your frequency here, 438575, which you put into your radio, simplex mode, DN. Now let's just try the X button and see if it even allows us to do that. So let's give it a go. So on here you have to push mode, then AMS. Let's do that again. Oh, I think I got that wrong. It's F, isn't it? F, then AMS. And it will then handshake. So it's now treating the FT300 like a, almost like a hotspot. So now in the same way that you would connect using your, you know, your normal handheld and a jumbo hotspot, you can now change rooms using your handheld. You're not tethered to this. Uh, to changing rooms using the PiStar software and, and this radio and the, and the PDN software. So that's it really, I can't think of anything else. So um, give it a go, have a little play. I mean, yeah, I mean the SCU20 cable is definitely the easiest way to go. Nice and simple setup, no hardware needed, just latest firmware in your radio, but most of the 300s and 400s have got that. And that's it, so this video is the uh, basically the FT300 with the YSX HRI 200 box. Now the one thing you can't do with, with the normal SCU is you can't use analog, so I better show you that first. So on the system here, just I'll just disconnect, and I'll change the transceiver to transceiver settings, and I'll change that to analog, and I'll click OK, apply, and now, We've reconnected, but now we can get the, see this radio here. Let's come out of that mode. So now we're in FM mode, FM here, FM here, and FM on the actual PDN software. And now I can talk to people with any FM radio, and it can be a cheap Bofung, you name it. It'll come out of here. Let's turn it up. It does sound different. Bit quiet. <laughs> That's very low audio, and that's coming through the PDN system in analog. So I'm hearing him in analog. I can go to any radio on this frequency, 438575. It could be an icon radio, and I will hear that. There you go. I'll turn off the Yesu. And we just got my little cheap 10 pound. Both, and you can't really see the frequency, but it's there 438575. Five. And coming out here, PDN.
The 7-3, catch you on air. All the best.